Southwest Texas is a vast and important part of the state, although more sparsely populated compared to elsewhere. The Western Cross Timbers region in the eastern part of West Texas is a 50 to 75 mile band of both oaks and cedars and marks the transition from the Blackland Prairie to West Texas. Cedar trees, or more correctly, ash junipers, have become a more invasive species. And as one travels into West Texas, these trees become more common along with another thriving invasive species, mesquite trees. Heading west, travelers encounter a significant uplift recognized by residents in the region as Ranger Hill. It is the most northern extension of the Balcones Escarpment. Once past this point, West Texas begins in earnest with a thousand foot higher elevation versus the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. West Texas, compared to the rest of the state, is higher and drier. The rolling plains of this part of West Texas are marked by intensive agriculture, especially cotton production, the further west you go, but also wheat, corn, and feed crops. Of course, this is also home to the Permian Basin, the most significant source of petroleum in the country. The further west we go, the flatter the land gets, and the trees go short and shrubby. There are several important cities in this part of Texas. Wichita Falls up on the Red River serves as a market and service center for surrounding counties. Farther south, Abilene sits astride the rolling plains and serves a similar function in its neighborhood, much like San Angelo does to the south. Lubbock, which many consider to be in the panhandle, but we'll put into West Texas, is one of the largest cities in these vast stretches. Until we consider, of course, the Midland and Odessa Petroplex, these bustling bergs are the capital of the oil industry in Texas and expand and contract with the economy.